Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 4 of Book 4. And this proposition gives us the information or the methods required to construct a circle inside of a triangle such that the circle touches each side of the triangle. So to do this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bisect the angles at B and C. And where these lines meet, well, we shall call point D. Now we're going to draw from point D three lines such that they are perpendicular to the respective sides of the triangle. So this would be a right angle, this would be a right angle, and this would be a right angle. Now with D as the center, we take the radius as DE or DG, doesn't really matter, and we draw a circle. And this circle touches the inside lines of the triangle. To prove this, let's look at these two triangles here, BED and BDF. Now we've bisected the angle at B, so this angle here is going to be alpha over 2, where alpha was the original angle. And if you remember from way back from the first book, if you have two triangles that have one side being equal and two angles, this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, then the triangles are equal. So we have side angle, angle, the two triangles are equal. If the two triangles are equal, then the sides are equal. So ED will be equal to DF. Now we can use the same argument to show that df is equal to dg and that dg is equal to ed. So we have that all these three lines are equal, so we can draw a circle. With those three lines, these will be the radii of the circle. And since from point d to g is a radius and the angle is 90 degrees, that, by definition, means that the line A to C touches the circle at G. And thus, we've taken a given, a given triangle and we have inscribed a circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.